Alright, hello everybody, welcome back to another episode of Species Artificial Live Real Evolution and today I thought, why not create a xenomorph in this game? You know, we have created all sorts of abominations, so we might as well just go all the way to the end and build a xenomorph and a face hogger, you know, using my perfect understanding of physics and uh, evolution because I am a very smart individual. I'm gonna use all of these mechanics to create a xenomorph and it's gonna be 100% accurate. So let's jump right in. All right, so here we are in an ocean planet with some desert and some plants and here are the little beans that will eventually become face hoggers. <laughs> And then, at a later stage, Xenomorph, right? And hopefully they will uh, probably spit acid out of their mouths and uh, have a mouth inside their mouth, which I never understood why that, that's even a thing. What's the purpose of the first mouth? If you have a second mouth inside the first mouth, it doesn't matter. The point is, these guys are going to be kind of scary. And I thought maybe some of the face huggers could be like water-based, right? Like aquatic creatures, and they're totally just dying there. Hold on, let me save these little dudes right here. Anyway, the point is, we're going to edit this guy so we're gonna start with this dude right here you are the chosen one my dude now let me tell you something about this game it's completely bugged at this point i can't even change these things right i have to actually type with my keyboard which is a total nuisance here but i'm gonna have to do it anyway so we're gonna we're gonna change the height here actually i think i'm gonna keep that at one but we are going to change this to 0 0.7, 1.8, 1.9. This is so annoying. So I don't know what they did. I think they merged the experimental branch with the normal one. And now everything's broken. Uh, the simulation works, but all the UI is completely useless. Look at this. I can't, I can't, I can't. Oh! I can't do it. I, I just can't do it. So I'm gonna have to change the width here manually. It sucks, I know. All right, so I feel like this is the, the shape of a face hugger's torso, right? They do have some, like, some balls down here. But I don't know how I'm gonna create those. Maybe some uh, limbs could, could do that? Yeah, I feel like that's... Yeah, I think that's it. I think that's it. They do have, like, eight legs. So we're not gonna be able to do this here. Uh, but... We can get closer, right? It's something like this. They do have some appendages down here. I don't know what those are. Maybe that's where they keep the eggs, question mark. Now, I do have to add a tail here. So let's change this. Honestly, I think it's number one. Even though it doesn't really look like a tail, I feel like it's number one. Now, in theory, the tail should be like three times the, the size of the body. But it's not going to work in this game. So we're going to go with uh, three, I think. All right, so face hugger doesn't really have a head, so I think I found out a workaround here. I just created a neck and rotated it all the way inwards. <laughs> so I think this is better, right? This looks more more like a face hugger, I would say. Anyway, let's generate this. And now it's time to splice all of these creatures with the face hugger DNA. There you go. Delicious. I'm pretty sure I'm making a huge mistake. This is why scientists shouldn't be allowed to do whatever they want. Because one of them is just going to be like, what if we create a face hugger, you know, and just release it into the wilderness? What would happen? And that scientist is me. Except I'm not a scientist. So this is going to be the beginnings, the very beginnings of the Xenomorph planet. All right, all right, all right. And we are seeing an exponential growth for these little beans right here. The face huggers are definitely growing exponentially. We are we're all the way up to 600. All right, what's happening here? Oh my god, look at this dude. <laughs> That's not really a face hugger. It's not as scary as you would think. Like, I feel like I can squash this with my boot. Look at this. Oh my god, look at that thick boy. Oh, it's sleeping on its side. It's so cute. All right, some of them already have the appendages in the back. I think that's where they keep either the acid or uh, that's where they keep their, um, the eggs, right? One of the two. Oh my god, look at this. All right, this is a good one. Hold on, let's pause this for a second. Let's take a look at this specimen right here because this... This is what we want to see. Oh boy. Oh boy. Yep. That's that's the the very beginnings of a face hugger right there. I don't know. I've seen some images of the face huggers where they coil up using their tail and some other images where they behave kind of like a cobra where they just lift their upper body 
using the tail, so I'm not sure if they use that to jump or not. Maybe they just use the legs to jump, but I, I'm pretty sure the, the legs are just to grab onto your head and give you a big smooch. All right, so it's been a little while and here we have the perfect specimen right here. You can see it right there. That is a face hugger and it looks like it's happy. <laughs> So I'm pretty happy with the result there. We still have some older sort of like specimens here. I kind of want to see the clade diagram here. Let's see, we have the very beginning of one of the species with the legs. All right, so we already have a lot of branching here with a lot of these um, specimens going extinct. Uh, but hopefully this one's gonna survive. Now, one of the things that we can see straight out of the gate is that we have a capped population. So the freaking face huggers, if left to their own devices, they're just gonna, <laughs> they're just gonna rule the world, dude. They reproduce so fast. And I'm sad that we don't have an option for eggs, but we don't have that option in the game. So we're just gonna, just gonna be happy with parthogenesis. All right, so I think we have several successful versions of the face hugger. Here's one, here's another. Pretty cool, kind of small. Actually, not that small if you compare it to the size of this palm right here. But anyway, now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna increase the aggressiveness of some of these creatures, right? So I'm gonna go to genetic engineering here. This guy's gonna be pretty aggressive. That's what we want, right? 0.42. That is the perfect level for a face hugger that is exactly the number that i have calculated based on my experience analyzing the alien movies all right so that is the perfect number right there oh my god it started they're attacking each other look at this look at this they're attacking each other already it's so fast it was almost instant look at them hunting each other oh boy there it is eating eating they are definitely cannibalizing themselves the good thing is that they're so fertile that they can just eat each other and there's no problem there's no problem with freaking out population look at this we're still capped if anything we're gonna get some help here from these carnivore dudes all right so we do have some meat eaters over here what do we have here this is carnivore yeah there you go these are the carnivores this is a face hugger this is a true face hugger right there all right, I'm gonna import one of the humans that I created in the previous episode, right? And what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna modify this human to become a xenomorph, all right? Let's do some genetic engineering on this human. All right, so I feel like when you look at a xenomorph, it kind of looks like a reptile, right? Like the skin is very hardened. I don't know if it's an exoskeleton of some sort or just scales. But I think the only option that we have here is scales. So I think I'm going to go with this sort of like pattern. All right. Now, based on what I've seen, it seems like, first of all, the legs and torso ratio, it's kind of like off. You know, they're very lanky creatures. So I think the length of the, of the, of the legs has to be a little bit sort of like this, maybe. Now, I'm not sure which limb type I'm going to go for because I kind of like this one. It sort of like resembles the shape of their legs, right? <laughs> I don't like how this looks. He just He's just casually walking down the street. <laughs> so nonchalantly. Look at this. I don't, I don't like this. I don't like how this looks. Even though it's more accurate with the shape of the legs. I don't like the animation for it. So I think I'm going to go with these. I know it's not as accurate. But... I feel like it's the one that looks more menacing. At least it doesn't seem like he's just going to get a Starbucks coffee, you know? At least it seems somewhat menacing, all right? All right. <laughs> this is more like it. <laughs> what an accurate representation of a xenomorph right here. He just wants to give you a hug, you know? It's in its DNA. It's a, it's a hugger. They're huggers, you know? They don't know personal space. All right, I don't think anyone has ever seen a more accurate representation of a xenomorph, you know? This is the perfect specimen right here. If evolution were to ever create a xenomorph, this would be it. Oh man, I'm so good. Look at this. Every single feature down to an inch. Man, just look at it. Every centimeter, every inch of this body right here is a perfect copy of the xenomorph from the movies. Holy crap, I can't believe I am so good at this. This is so accurate, unbelievable. And I've never seen a xenomorph happy, but there you go, look at that. Honestly, I think the head that resembles the xenomorph the most would be this one. 
All right, so I think this is it right here. <laughs> this is gonna be our xenomorph. Let's generate this. Does this look like a xenomorph to you? I'm not sure. Oh boy. Now that's a big dude. <laughs> is this a xenomorph? <laughs> oh no, don't die. What is happening down there? What is happening in here? How do you have so many legs? I think there's a xenomorph inside this xenomorph. Oh, we have some more over here. They look nasty. Oh boy. He looks so nasty. <laughs> what the heck is that? Oh yes. Oh yes, the xenomorphs are evolving. <laughs> They're getting closer toward target. Some of these guys are definitely becoming carnivores and here we have one of the most advanced uh, xenomorphs here. This guy's bigger though. Holy crap. Look at the tail. Oh my god. <laughs> All right. Well, that's something. Now, outside, what do we have outside? Some of these freaking... <laughs> they're devolving. They're devolving. Oh my god, that, that looks so nasty, dude. They're, they're moving so fast. It's kind of nasty, to be honest. Why are they dying so much? Hold on, let me increase the fertility here. Land fertility, there you go. You shouldn't die. You should not die. All right, I'm going to try to splice these guys with a face hogger uh, thingy. Uh, it's gonna be this one. Hopefully the game doesn't crash. Let's do that. There you go. All right, should be okay. Should be okay. My people are dying. My little dudes are crying. What's happening here? Why are you dying? They're dying so quickly. I don't know why the population dropped down so rapidly. I don't. I don't understand. All right. <laughs> so this seems to be the most advanced xenomorph that we were able to create. All right, so the, the xenomorphs are definitely reproducing here. We have a ton. Look at this. Look at this. We have xenomorphs everywhere. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to grab some of these. And I'm just going to release them out here in the wilderness. All right, I'm just going to release them right there. And we're going to check on them in a couple of generations and see what happens. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, dude. Dude. It's funny because the face huggers are actually bigger than the xenomorphs. All right, and now look at this. All of the xenomorphs sleeping, you know? This would be a nightmare. Oh boy, what the heck was this? It's a mix of a, of a xenomorph and a face hugger. Look at that. Jesus Christ, dude. All right. All right, so it seems like a lot of these guys just want to escape already. So let's do this. Let's give them freedom. Freedom! And let's place them right here. Alright, let's place them... Uh, let's place them right here. That's a good spot. Alright, you are free. It's pretty hot. I understand. I know. Let me lower the temperature a little bit here. Alright, there you go. Hopefully you will survive. It does make sense that a xenomorph would need sort of like a cold environment. Alright, so here we have it. A world with face huggers and... <laughs> and xenomorphs there you go they are living in harmony in a world all to themselves and you would never ever want to come to this world anyway i think that's gonna be it for today see you <laughs>